Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben. Uh, I just thought that I would make a little update video because obviously I haven't really uploaded uh, in the last month except for that focus video. So yeah, I just wanted to sort of explain that and a um, bunch of legal stuff has happened and just a little bit of a life update, maybe like a 2020 wrapping up and some, some stuff that I'm working on for 21. So yeah, on the 22nd of December at around 7 a.m., I woke up to seven or eight cops in my bedroom and um, they had a search warrant for my phone, my computer, my cameras and my drones, any SD card, hard drive that was in the room, etc. So I got woken up, I was naked, they watched me get changed, um, <laughs> that was fun. And then went downstairs, they searched the house, took all my stuff, like even my phone, um, which I thought was kind of ridiculous. Uh, and that was all to get evidence of a suspected dangerous driving, I think it was excessive speed, one of the two, um, suspected of me doing that in one of my videos. Um, and so, you know, they obviously they're trying to uh, take my computer and they made me give them the password to my computer and the password to my phone, because if you don't do that, you're breaking some privacy act law and it's uh, it's even more charges. Yeah, so they've had my computer, phone, cameras, everything for over a month now. So it's, I think it's currently the 29th or the 30th. Um, yeah, so they've had all my stuff for five, almost six weeks now. And the day after they came to the house to take everything, all the officers involved went on leave for three weeks. So it was obviously, you know, some sort of plan to you know, really disturb my Christmas and New Year's. Um, you know, I think it's not so much of a, uh, you know, we want to try to put this guy in jail, but it's more of a um, scare tactic by the police. Definitely going to be a lot more cautious about what I upload in the future. But yeah, uh, other than that, things have been pretty good. Um, just had a chill Christmas. Uh, super chill New Year's is the first time in years that I haven't gone to a party or a festival or something. I just chilled at home. And yeah, it was cool. Uh, been gaming a fair bit. Uh, I have to do that here in the office because I don't have my uh, computer at home. just have my laptop, so uh, I can edit some basic photos and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really upset mostly because I had like 10 videos and a few photo sets that I was uh, waiting to edit. Um, some of them for you guys, uh, and some of my clients and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been quite annoying. So that's pretty much it with the search warrant. That's where all my stuff has been. They also impounded the Sylvia, uh, which I got back a few days ago. And then the Sylvia, even though it hasn't changed at all in the last two months, since it got the previous green sticker removed, I took it back to the same VTNZ and the same inspector inspected it. And apparently the wheels are not certified for how big they are, uh, some of the suspension components, and a few other things. He's like, oh, these are all, you know, there's like 10 things. And I'm like, how did you not pick up on these last time? It's pretty crazy. So Sylvia is currently out of action, but we've got some huge mods uh, almost ready to be installed. So I got a new front bumper. I have some Origin... 55 mil over fenders for the front and the back so that's going to look sick so it's going wide body we got the 326 wing new rear bumper um roof spoiler and a bunch of other few little bits probably had to get some new wheels for the uh, wide body so my plan is that i'll probably just keep it off the road for the next three four five months until all that's done um we're probably going to be changing the color of the car if not just wrapping it um what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the whole car primed. Uh, we're going to sand down the whole car, probably change the color of the interior, a bunch of stuff. Um, and then just see how it goes. Well, but I'll be, uh, and then just see how it goes, but I'll be vlogging all that and keeping you guys updated. But I literally haven't um, touched the car in the last two months, really, uh, which is why there hasn't really been any progress on that. And I've just been waiting for parts. So yeah, other than that, um, the other court cases, have been going all right. Uh, one of them I pled guilty to. So that is one, I think it's one sustained loss of traction charge and one 
excessive speeding charge. I pled guilty to those at the end of last year um, because basically the police had just downloaded the clip from my YouTube channel, which was, you know, it was very silly to upload that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. So I might get six months uh, without a license, but that won't be uh, for at least a few months yet. Um, so worst case scenario is I'll just be taking the Sylvia to the track um, a lot instead of driving it on the streets, which wouldn't be awful. Uh, you know, keep me out of trouble and it'll be really fun at the track and it'll be really actually, I'll be able to get to actually push the car and see what it can do, uh, see, drift it properly and stuff like that. So yeah, I talked about the other case a while ago, but it's sort of progressed. So, so this case is about the video on my channel called Bad Sylvia's and I won't name them directly. They know who they are, but um, there's two Sylvia owners in Auckland. Uh, one of the S15 and one of the S13 and the guy of the S13 commissioned me to do a video for him. I happily did that video for him. I thought that we were friends and then uh, once the video was done apparently he didn't like how the video was edited and just uh, refused to pay me and then while we were filming it they were driving on the wrong side of the road and he just started drifting in the middle of the road at one point. Um, and some a member of the public was filming it and then everyone involved got charged of dangerous driving so i got charged of dangerous driving for filming him and the person who was driving my car got dangerous driving for allowing me to film him and uh yeah the two drivers so the s15 and the s13 both got dangerous driving as well so we all got questioned um and then those two drivers involved actually uh, told the police that I pressured them into driving on the wrong side of the road and drifting in the road. And therefore, like, you know, so I should get dangerous driving as well, which is just ridiculous. I'd never do that. And then while I'm being questioned in the Kimi police station, the, uh, the officer in charge of that case directly compares me to the Christchurch mosque shooter in terms of like safety for the public and things like that, which is just ridiculous. So yeah, um, we're all sorting that out in court and I'll keep you guys updated on that one. But yeah, I think it's better that everyone knows the truth around what's happening. These are just the facts. Um, you know, my opinion is pretty obvious, you know, I'm innocent. I don't think I should be getting dangerous driving for filming someone drive dangerously when I didn't tell them to. Um, it's all a bit silly to me. Um, it just, just seems like a big waste of time and money. Um, I've spent almost 10 grand in the last six months on lawyers and it's just, uh, it's a bit silly. So yeah, but, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, 2020 was, uh, it was pretty good considering, considering everything that happened and, uh, you know, all that. So yeah, big plans for 2021. Uh, Sylvia is going to be completely transformed and, uh, lots of other stuff that I won't go into right now, but, uh, yeah, so pretty excited for this year. Um, coming into it with a better mentality than I've had most of last year. Like, it, aside from all the annoying things that have happened, um, you know, it's very important to keep a positive outlook on things, um, which is very hard when, you know, people around you can often have like negative outlooks on everything. Um, but yeah, just remaining positive. I'll probably start vlogging again soon. Uh, they took even the little small vlogging camera that I had, even though technically that was the only, like the video, what I filmed the video on was that little Sony A5100 that I have, but they felt it was necessary to take my Sony, my GoPros, my drones, everything, anything that in the house that was capable of taking an image and saving it was taken by the police. They also took six white shirts and two pairs of pants from me not sure why so yeah currently i can't really edit any videos um i managed to edit that forward focus review on my laptop it took bloody forever and i'm really not keen on uh, editing any other videos on my laptop um but i do have three reviews booked already so and they are of really cool cars so i think you guys are gonna enjoy those so hopefully i get my stuff back soon um and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this answered some questions for you uh if there's any other questions you want 
answers to, put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, otherwise, happy new year and uh, just go into this year with a more positive outlook than, uh, you know, everyone is so, so negative in 2020 and they just used, like, yeah, COVID was bad, but a lot of people use it as an excuse to just be lazy and not go after, you know, the things that they wanted. They just say, oh, it's impossible because of this or that. So don't do that, you know, this year, just stay focused and get what you want. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I do. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.